this video, we're going to take a look at how to manage users inside of WordPress. Once you're inside of the WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse over the Users section. Let's begin by clicking on All Users. This will show you a list of all the users currently available on your website. To add a new user, either click the Add New button or press the Add New option on the left-hand side. You will need to provide a username for this user. Keep in mind that once a username is created, you can no longer modify it. Provide the user's email address. The additional fields are optional, but you might as well fill them out. If the user has a personal website, feel free to put it on this field. Provide a temporary password for your user. If you would like the login details automatically sent to your new user's email address, be sure to place a check mark here. Otherwise, you can just leave it blank. Lastly, you'll need to assign a role to that user. Subscribers usually don't have that many privileges. They can log into a website, maybe make comments, and things of that nature. Contributors have the ability to contribute content to your site, such as pages and posts. Authors are very similar. Editors also have the ability to edit other people's content. Administrators have the ability to pretty much do everything inside of your WordPress website. In this case, we're gonna make this user a contributor. Click the Add New User button to continue. Now that the new user is set up, that user can log in and edit his own details by going to his profile section. You can also edit his details yourself by going to the Users section again and selecting that user from the list. Here you'll have a few additional options. For example, you can add biographical info, you can change their password to something else. You can disable the visual editor for that user. And you can change their specific color scheme for their dashboard. When you are done and you are happy with the modifications for this user's profile, feel free to click the Update User button. Lastly, to delete a user, you will need to go back to the All Users list. Here you can put a check mark next to the user you want to delete and from the pull down menu select delete. Hit apply and you will be presented with this screen. If that user has contributed posts and pages to your website, you have the option to delete all of the pages that that user has contributed or assign them to a different user on your website. Once you are ready to proceed, click the Confirm Deletion button. Congratulations, you now know how to manage users inside of WordPress.